At the Eddie Bauer store in Columbus, Ohio, the retail environment is decidedly chilly. Freezing. In fact, okay, so this is an actual block of ice. It is. I'm going to sit on it. Give it a shot. They created an ice box chilled to 16 degrees so customers can try out their cold weather gear. It's something that can't be done online. People come here on repeat visits? Absolutely. For the novelty to test out the clothes? Well, yes, to test the outerwear for sure. That's what it's intended for. It's just a great experience. Like Eddie Bauer, Retailers across the country are looking for ways to lure customers offline yeah, some cookies and, and into their stores. Melissa Miller is with Alliance Data, which helps businesses market to customers and try to retain them. It could be a makeover. It could be meet the chef. It could be decorating services. It's why Saks had its Wellery pop-up part fitness center, part shopping experience. <laughs> and Macy's is partnering with Samsung at its flagship store in New York in the hopes that virtual reality turns into actual sales. <laughs> Empty stores aren't sustainable, but novel efforts to coax customers through the doors come with risks. Well, if it seems like a gimmick, today's customer sees right through it. They might check it out once, but they're not going to be responsive to it. It is estimated that in the next five years, one in four U.S. malls will close. So the effort to get people to shop in stores is urgent for these retailers. Alex Wagner, CBS News, New York.